to do this tribute, and I just want to read to them, so that everything will be fine, even though it doesn't seem, seem like it will be in your own prayers. Jesus Christ, the daily text. Six Sunday of the Trinity. This is what the Lord says. He who created you, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have summoned you by name. You are mine. The daily text, Psalm 46, 4 to 5. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. 
God is in the midst of the city, it shall not be moved. The doctrinal text, Revelation 21 verse 3. Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and He will dwell with them. They will be His people, and God Himself will be with them and be their God. The prayer. God Emmanuel, as we gather this day, may we become more aware of your presence, your desire to be with us. You are not far from us. Your ears hear the prayers of our hearts, as your eyes see the place where we are. Be still, my soul. Amen. Greetings, Moravian Youth Network. This is Reverend Skonje uh, from Goshen Congregation and Kathkath Congregation, which are based in the Eastern Cape. I've been given a theme about forgiveness. I don't have much time. I will try to be very quick. We'll take our, our, our scripture reading from Romans 6. We're going to read only verse 13. Do not offer any part of yourself to sin as an instrument of wickedness, but rather offer yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life and offer every part of yourself to him as an instrument of righteousness. May God bless his word. Paul speaks to these amazing people, which are the Roman people. Scholars will tell you that he, he has never met them, but he understood their challenges as a community and as a church. He writes this letter in saying, I wish to see you, but even though I have not met you, and then he gives them these guidelines. But today I want to speak about forgiveness and this part that says do not offer you any part of yourself to sin as an instrument. I want to tell you my brothers and sisters that whatever that happens in life we must never allow ourselves to be used as an instrument of sin. God does not want that. If we fail to forgive our families, if we fail to forgive those that we love, if we fail to forgive those who have hurt us. Therefore, we are using our body as an instrument for sin. However, God is saying, let us offer ourselves. Let us offer ourselves as people who understand that we have been brought by God from death and given life. We are the people who have to understand that the law is no longer a master to us, but grace that is the grace that, that sustains us. So whatever that you are going through, or whomever that you have had differences with, I want to assure you that today it must stop. Do not allow the devil to use you as an instrument of sin. God wants you to do better today. God wants you to forgive. God wants you to have strength. Not to forgive only those who come at you and say, I'm sorry. But to forgive even those who have not even bothered to come and say, I'm sorry. The strongest people in life are those who forgive people who have not even seen that they are wrong. And that is what we take from Christ. We understand that our God forgave us. Even though at times we do not know if we sin or not. But God continuously forgives us. So why are we allowing ourselves to be used as an instrument of sin? Because for us to fail to forgive our dear brothers and sisters, therefore, we are using ourselves as an instrument of sin. Therefore, we are forgetting the grace that is supposed to sustain us. 
I want us today to take a new leaf on life, a new leaf on life, and to, to build men the relationships, those relationships which we had given up on, those relationships of people who have supported us and eventually broke our hearts. But today we want to forgive them. You know, there is a say that says, the, the one part that hurts the most is who does it come from? The head. A person that you do not care about, they can say anything about you. They can do anything to you. They will never hurt you because you do not care about them. But the person that you love the most, if they ever do anything to you, they will hurt you because you will hold them dear to your heart. But Christ has showed us because he died for us. He brought us from death into life. Therefore, why can we not do the same? If we are witness of God, if we say we are Christians and we are followers of Christ, let us follow his example. The Bible is very clear. In Kosa we say, those that one wants to follow me must take his cross and follow me. But we understand when you take up the cross, it is never easy for anyone to take up the cross. We know even for Christ, it was not easy for him to take up the cross, for our sins to be forgiven. For him, the first word he said on the cross was forgive them because they do not know what they are doing. That is what we must understand. That death, that death spoke volume of us to be risen from the dead and of us to be forgiven. So let us not offer ourselves as a sin of instrument, but rather offer ourselves as instruments of God, which lead in obedience. God bless you. May God keep you. May God make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. Amen. Help Me Forgive by Joanna Fuchs When rage and fury overwhelm my heart, it's time to look to God's own holy word. I search the Bible for his good advice. My will to his commands must be deferred. In Romans, God reveals his love for me. In all things, God works only for my good. He gives me blessings I can't understand. I'd be peaceful if I'd do the things I should. Jesus forgave so much. Why then can't I? I want to mold my life after his own. I pray, I try, but my, nature, my sinful nature wins. Lord, help me. I can't do this thing alone. In Colossians, I read about the peace of Christ. Oh, I, how I long to feel it in my heart. All I have to do is forgive. But Lord, it seems I don't know where to start. I need to walk a mile in others' shoes. They're doing what they think they have to do. I know some problems are blessings in disguise. But Lord, sometimes I feel so blue. Ephesians says, forgive as the Lord forgave you. Get rid of anger and every form of malice. I'd love to just let go and release it all. But upon my whole heart is a wound that's become a callous. I'll keep praying, trying, Lord, no matter what. I'm determined to let go and relinquish blame. Someday I'll say, and be truly sincere, I forgive it all in Jesus' precious name. Thank you. Hi everyone. I hope everyone is doing well. My name is Bruce Okes. This is my son, Adam Okes. And today we want to speak to you about forgiveness. Okay. Forgiveness for me is very important because it helps you to release all those negative, bitter emotions that you have inside. 
it makes you want to say something to that person who did you wrong. So it's better to forgive the person so that it releases all that negative emotions. It makes your life more peaceful and joyful than rather living a life with bitterness. I just want to share a scripture with you. Matthew 6 verse 12. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Forgiveness brings power and victory back into our spirit so that we can live a life in the fullness of God's glory and His unmerited favor. We want to encourage you, whatever you went through, that you will find your way to the feet of the Lord and you will pray and that He will guide you to forgive the person, whatever he or she did to you, that you will live a life of joy, peace and love. Hope you guys have a lovely day further. God bless you. Today, young Moravians, today we, we are talking about forgiveness and today we should be thankful and I would like to thank everyone on this note that has contributed towards our videos for today. The words of encouragement has really been blessed. Forgiveness, we should really think hard and long before we, should, before we forgive someone. So be thankful that we still have a, a friend to confide in and if someone's done wrong, Let's think of forgiving them. Let's start the process of forgiveness. And that's the word I would love to leave with you today. Thank you so much from the MY team. Well, you have a blessed Sunday further. Thank you so much. Andre Marcus.